hello YouTube this is Aman and today I'm back with new video tutorial and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to import a uh, big MySQL database into PHP my admin so we know that there is a problem in PHP my admin that we can't actually import a large database in uh, by web web server in what I say by PHP my admin web access so this case uh, we have to use uh, SSH or uh, direct uh, terminal mode so there is no way to upload by PHP my admin but I'm gonna show you how to upload it uh, in Windows server as uh, CMD or what I say PowerShell so let's take a look before we move on the process uh, let's log on our php my admin our php my admin uh, host address is localhost and i'm gonna log in with uh, the name of our username of our database so this is t-shirt planet and uh, my password is okay and I have logged in and you can see that I have uh, two databases in here so one is a uh, t-shirt plant I just created it and it's the most important part is here to import a database into uh, a new database you have to create an empty database first so this case I created an empty database you can create actually but I have no access to create new database so that's why I just created one from root user so to show this uh, tutorial actually so first of all you have uh, created uh, you have to create a input database in here so I have created already and you can actually import uh, by here but uh, you can see that uh, say that saw that uh, there is max uh, 2 megabyte so you can't actually upload almost 1 GB or 2 gigabyte of database so how can we do that so you can, we know that uh, in Windows Server 2012 we installed our MySQL MySQL server in uh, local lake C and the directory is um, MySQL you can see sorry not uh, it should be my program file and you can see that MySQL and MySQL server 5.7 and here is the actual directory in here bin so what do we have to do let's get started so we have to go Windows and right click on here and you can see that system press on system and you can you can go here that uh, advanced system settings and there is a environment variable so uh, you can uh, we have to add it in here is that is path uh, in path you have to click edit uh, you can see that uh, I have added MySQL uh, MySQL server 5.7 dot bin location in here because uh, uh, to uh, in PowerShell we can we will go in PowerShell and open it as administrator mode and you can see that uh, PowerShell comes up and you can see that MySQL this actually comes that my SQL are in my uh, environment variable but um, you won't see this message un until you add this variable in here so when you add this variable in here you can just uh, do this by clicking where is that uh, clicking here and copy this uh, value uh, and to add it a new and you can enter it here so I've just already added it so when you add it uh, you have to restart so to make uh, make this video short uh, I have I already made, added it and restarted my server so that's why my SQL actually working in uh, PowerShell so let's get started you can see that my SQL so first you have to log in your my SQL my SQL username so you have to log in as yes, like is uh, my SQL space uh, space uh, dash u space uh, your username so this case my username is uh, sorry uh, my database username so where is my database username let me get my database username okay so that one, this is my database username oh t 
shirt of oh, planet make sure you're not mistaken in here so for uh, your database uh, mysql space dash u space uh, your database username space dash p so if your database username is correct then it will ask for password so let's enter our password in here so now you can access uh, you have access in mysql by your username in terminal mode uh, which, is, which is partial actually so now we will start the import, import process in here so first of all we have a database in here so we will select this one by using command use and the database name t-shirt planet and uh, colon semicolon and enter you can see that database changed and now we're gonna import this process to to import this process uh, we have to type um, source s o u r c e source space the location of your database so this case my location of my database is in here uh, in local uh, web storage d this is my database you can actually copy this location or you can just uh, drag this in here so if you press enter then it will be start processing uh, the import process so you can see the database is almost um, 2 GB maybe so let's enter the enter the database process import process you can see that uh, is actually importing the process so as this is a big huge database it will take much time to import so this is all of our today's video so thanks for watching